Hello everybody and welcome to Jeff the Pharmacist. Uh, so today I want to talk about um, Cialis versus Viagra. So it might not be as interesting a contest as McGregor and Mayweather, but um, at least you don't have to pay for pay-per-view. So today I'm looking at um, these two drugs. They both work in the same way. So they're both drugs called phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors. So uh, phosphodiesterase is a chemical, an enzyme that it breaks down something called CGMP. CGMP is involved in pr the production of nitrous oxide in the smooth muscle in the penis. And so uh, nitrous oxide re re relaxes muscle and allows uh, blood to come into the penis and there you, you have an erection. And so they both uh, work in the same way. Um, so there are a lot of warnings and stuff um, with Cialis and Viagra. They're, they're very similar insofar as the warnings are very similar. They both have um, a contraindication with uh, certain drugs called um, nitrates that's famous um, that can cause dangerous uh, lowering of blood pressure. They have interactions with different kind of uh, blood pressure medications. But um, they're, they're both similar, they both have very similar interactions and everything else, and they act in the same way. What really separates them, um, what really separates them besides kind of being able, besides kind of being able to understand their marketing, like Viagra means vitality, and you have, um, there's youth and stuff associated, associated with it. Um, with Cialis, I never understood the bathtubs, you can explain to me what the bathtubs mean um, and all of the ads they have like um, a couple in bathtubs holding hands looking across a uh, a four uh, a um, looking across a uh, crevasse or a canyon holding hands or on a beach holding hands looking at the waves in bathtubs so if you guys can explain to me what that means um, besides the marketing campaigns um, Cialis and Viagra differ in that they have different half-lives. So what a half-life is, is how long it takes for your body to destroy medication and make it inactive. So um, we have these natural uh, systems to take in um, substances and destroy them. Um, it's a way of dealing with poisons and things. You can imagine early humans and even us today eat all kinds of different things and um, they wind up in our body and our body has to kind of um, break down these chemicals so um, it takes the body um, about four hours to get rid of half of the Viagra in your bloodstream so that's called a half-life in uh, Cialis's case it's much longer so what that means is that um, while um, while both medications are often prescribed before sex um, Cialis gives you a little bit more leeway in how long you can wait um, Viagra um, Viagra has a lot less of a duration of action than Cialis. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, another thing I, I pointed out is that uh, they both have generics now. So I, I made another video about kind of the generic situation. Um, so just it's something to keep in mind if you're looking at both drugs, whether you're, if your insurance doesn't cover it, um, Viagra is probably the better option because there's a cheaper generic now. I'm going to post a little blog snippet about um, Cialis and Viagra on my website, um, so check it out. And um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks a lot.